Welcome back and thank you for being here. My name is Gia. In today's video, I want to share with you guys on what you can do when you are feeling stuck in life, specifically by using art. So this could be when you are feeling stuck emotionally or feeling stuck in a particular chapter of your life. It could also be being fixated with certain thoughts or beliefs that are holding you back from moving forward in life. So if you resonate with any of this, then this video is for you. When I feel stuck in one area of my life, I have a tendency to think that every aspect of my life is stuck. So this really blows the issue way out of perspective and this becomes the lens through which I perceive my reality and I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this. So in today's video, we'll be using a few art materials to bring in a sense of movement and flow through art and I'll be using my insights as an art therapist as well as my personal ways of using art through this process. We're going to be using color pencils and acrylic paints today. You can also mix the paint with a bit of water for more fluidity if you want. We'll use a large piece of paper so that this can give you enough room to move your hand around freely, creating more motion and activity in your body. We'll use a few paint brushes with different sizes and of course water and a rag. As usual, just take a moment with a few deep breaths and get into the natural, relaxed rhythm of your breathing. This is an important part of this exercise because it brings your focus inwards and this helps you to become more aware of your art making process, the emotions, the thoughts, sensations, and so forth. When you feel ready, I invite you to use your non-dominant hand with a drawing material and freely move it around the paper. Using your non-dominant hand can help you let go of control, how it looks, and just flow with what has been created on the paper as it is. Just let your hand move around in its natural way. When we feel stuck in life, we feel stuck mentally, so perhaps with repeating thoughts or replaying certain situations in our life over and over again. And this pulls us deeper into emotional pain or self-doubt. But at the same time, this stuckness is also experienced in our bodies. We might feel tightness or some kind of discomfort where the energy in our body feels stagnant or trapped. It's very important for us to find effective ways to bring in a sense of flow into these moments of our lives to ease the tension and the stress. Now from here, you can freely use any of the art materials in your own way that feels natural to you, that feels intuitive for you. Go with the colors that you're drawn to, whether it is painting or drawing or both. Just remember to keep your hand, your arm, or even your body moving on the paper. Movement and flow is the key. What I've learned is that even when I feel stuck and it feels like there's no way out of this feeling, Deep within, there is always activity and movement going on within my body, within my mind. We can easily notice this in subtle shifts in our emotions. For example, even in the midst of feeling depressed, a short conversation with a friend can bring in a moment of curiosity, a situation can bring up frustration, or a memory can bring up feelings of joy momentarily. So sometimes being caught up in our thoughts and mind can keep us from noticing these small shifts and movement within us. Change is constantly happening, whether it is physically, emotionally, or even spiritually, where we hold on to certain beliefs 
then over time, we learn to let them go and take on new beliefs. Kinesthetic art like this can activate movement and flow in our bodies, as well as in our ways of thinking, our perspectives, and our emotions. When you feel finished, before moving on to the reflective writing, I invite you to take a moment with your art, just observing it as it is. There's no need to judge it or label it in any way. Just take a moment with it. And then we can reflect on the following question. The first question is, Mindfully pay attention to and describe any sensations felt in your body here and now. And secondly, you can reflect on any insights gained from this experience. And then I invite you to give your art a title. And again, you can work at your own pace. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for being here. And know that I'm open for any questions that you might have about healing through art. Also, if you want a personalized guidance in your healing process that's geared specifically towards your needs and your focus in life, I invite you to visit my website for more information about this. I will see you next time and love and light your way.